I was able to do a lot of these sales because I would saw foresaw what was going on in the real estate cycles in the real estate market. And what I saw is that all the way back in this, actually these cycles go back all the way to the 70s and even the 60s. But what I saw was um, following a cycle that I moved from California back here in 1990 uh, because I, I saw what was happening in the market similar to what it's doing now. It's going like this. In fact, it's going more like this. And I didn't want, as a professional in the real estate industry, to ride a five to seven year cycle down. So I went somewhere else. I started looking across the nation to find somewhere else where I could invest uh, or buy a home and have a lifestyle and, you know, through research and through Money Magazine and National Geographic. And I don't even think the, uh, Al Gore had invented the internet yet back then. So it was, but it was back here that I saw all these newspaper articles and, and I said, you know what? I got to go somewhere where there's an opportunity to, to make money, okay, and, and have a good living. And Austin, Texas, amongst others, came to the top. So I got an airplane, flew out here, and I got here as quick as I could, and I didn't want to go back. And my wife will attest that uh, she said, wow, I guess you found home. And I said, yeah, I found home. And so I said, We're, we made plans to move, okay. And so... But this cycle is, is kind of what Wes is talking about. One of the dichotomies that you have to look at is that guess where the news media is based out of? California, the coast, New York, okay? So when you get these news media of the markets crashing uh, and the terrible foreclosures going on, yeah, we're talking about Stockton, California, the worst market. In it. Yes, we're talking about the Inland Empire. Yes, we're talking about areas that are on the coast because they're right in the middle of it, believe it or not, because what happened is happening right now. But don't believe there is no such thing as a national real estate market. There is no such thing. They, what happens is when people can't make a living, like I couldn't back in the early 90s, we go look for some place we can make a living, and that's why you see so many license plates right here from all out of state moving here. What does that do to our economy here? It becomes People move in, they buy homes, they fill up our rentals, and the supply goes down, prices go up. Okay, So don't believe everything that's going on in the, the national media market and apply it to your local market. Now what there is an opportunity, people like you guys that are in the know and have this knowledge now, there are still people out there that own property that think the market's crashing in Austin, Texas. Those are the people you need to buy from. Okay, those are the people you need to buy from because they're they're like those panicking people like Wes talked about. They're, they're the panicking people. We're panicking now. It's got to sell, sell. You know who most of my clients are right now? The people that bought investment properties from me two years ago because they're back in California saying, oh, I guess the whole market's crashing. I go, no, it's not. It's doing fine. Our rental market is stronger than it's ever been. This is the time to buy. Okay, it's time to buy when people's mentality is on a contrary end. So back through this, if you look through this, California, Back in the early 80s, um, was kind of in the doldrums. But in 19, uh, 1980 through 1985, Texas was in a boom phase, okay? And you can hear all about it. But from 85, when the tax laws changed, 86, and the, and the, the oil and everything, Texas kind of, what they called, shut their doors. There was a depression, so to speak, and then prices dropped. But what happened in California? Prices went up, okay? There was a, there was a boom from 85 to... Uh, to 90, 91, 92. And so what I did is we decided I saw this was going to happen, uh, and it did, was that in California the prices would drop from 90, in 1990 all the way to 1997. You know, the median price for a single family home in, in Orange County, California, in Southern California was 195000 in 1997. That's the, basically what it is here right now. And what happened was, is there was a there was a, a, a drop, and I didn't want to ride that market. Of course, what happened in the 90s in Texas, Dow and the dot com, and we had a boom during the time that California was in the doldrums. This is continuing to repeat again. That's what's great about following cycles is that they have a tendency to repeat, and they move slower than the stock market. The stock market goes like this. Real estate markets are like big ships; they make big slow turns. So what happened is. Right now, about 2000, we were flat. From 2000 to 2006, California went through the roof. Okay, and then in 2006, is the uh, the values here are starting to continue to increase? Do we have any problems with our tax assessments this year? Right? Okay, everybody's calling me. That's why we're doing this tax seminar uh, later on today is how to protest your taxes because we want to cancel out some of that debt because the tax assessors have gotten greedy this year. 
There's no basis for a lot of the, the, the numbers they're coming up with. But anyways, they think the value is, they, the values have gone up, but not the 20% they seem to have said on some of my properties. Okay, and so our values are going up because why? Because people are moving here because they have jobs. They're leaving the coast, they're leaving Phoenix, they're leaving Florida. Those are the license plates we see and they're moving here. Now, who do you think they're moving to? They're moving into residential property and they're either renting or they're buying. But most of the time they're going to rent first. We have 100% occupancy on our properties. We really actually have a hard time finding uh, the, the, the leasing agents are doing great right now because there are so many people moving here. Our occupancy is 97% and the 3% is probably not properties you want to live in in anyways. So, okay, so opportunities are now to keep your eye out, take advantage of the subprime mess uh, right here in Austin. We're going to talk about HUD foreclosures. Mo Pacnia is going to talk about HUD foreclosures and how that's affected, how you can uh, scoop in good Good rental property now and take advantage of that. Once again, there are all kinds of great benefits that we can talk about rental property and the time to buy is now to tax benefits and things like that. But we have a, I have some uh, 30 some slides through here, so I'm going to start ripping through this stuff.